Police body cameras have benefited both the community and officers when it comes to transparency and a detailed record of officer-involved incidents. But are they being used with their intended purpose? On April 1st, Struthers police officers were involved in a high-speed chase. That chase ended when a Struthers officer fatally shot the suspect after reporting that the suspect held up a gun. But it was what was seen afterward, or what wasn't seen, on police body camera footage that's raised some questions. WKBN obtained the video and counted at least 18 times in which officers were seen covering their cameras or turning down the sound. We asked police a question that was asked to us. What's the point of having cameras if they can be covered up? That will be a complete violation of any policy that we have that, to block your camera or mute it without an articulable purpose. During the investigation directly following the incident, Youngstown police arrived on the scene to assist. One Youngstown officer was assigned to shadow each Struthers officer. This provided two points of view of police body cameras, one from YPD's camera and one from the Struthers camera. However, one of those cameras was covered. In the body camera video from YPD, you can see the Struthers police officer that carried out the shooting, whose name has not been released, zip up his jacket and cover up his body camera. Later, from his own body camera video, you can hear him tell another officer why he zipped it up. I'm not, I'm not unzipping my jacket. I'm freezing. Struthers Police Chief Tim Roddy said he understands why the officer zipped up his jacket at that point and said the camera already served its intended purpose. I do want to point out that the original footage of the actual incident, everything was, was caught on the camera the way it should have been. But the emotions afterwards, that's when he pulled his, his uh, zipper up. He was cold, mm -hmm. and we wanted to keep them guys separate from each of the, the, our officers that were involved. And but in the video view from the YPD camera, you can see that Struthers officer point to his camera and then signal to someone else in a zipping up motion. Then he proceeds to fist bump the officer next to him. Scene's already in control, and there's no urgency for anything else. As long as it's on, you could still get the audio. He wasn't going to be involved with any of the investigation. In the YPD footage, you can see the officer cover up his camera with his hand or with his arms more than a dozen times. Sergeant Jose Morales with the Youngstown Police Internal Affairs Department also had another explanation. They have a habit of putting their arms around their vest and resting their arms on their on the outer vest like this because they really don't know what to do with their hands. They have stuff on their belt. They have things against their pockets. Still, Morales said covering a camera, even accidentally, is not permitted by his department. However, in a portion of the video, you can hear a man refer to the camera's rolling before the camera is then covered up. There's one thing that I discovered that makes this way easier. What's that? I can't say. There's a you know, what? There's one fact that I've noticed that makes this way easier. Morales says there are only certain instances that would allow for an officer to mute, cover, or turn off their cameras. A personal phone call or part of the investigation that they're, they're, they're handling. Technically, YPD is still in its testing phase of police body cameras with 16 officers volunteering to wear them. So there's not an official policy just yet. Morales says they do have some guidelines that they follow and they plan to have the official program up and running in October. He also said they're still working on their policy and after WKBN brought this issue up to them, he even added some details in there about obstructing camera views. I, I went in and added at no point in time should an officer inadvertently or intentionally block a camera lens or microphone with any object or any portion of the officer's body. Because that's what we want to do. We want to enhance transparency with the, with the public. We want to build public trust. And you can't do that by, it might not be intentional, but we also want to make sure that whether it be intentional or inadvertent, you're not doing these things. So we're learning from videos like this. This is actually a good training video for us when we actually do roll this out. Watch your arms on your vest. My big thought is this is a good education video for everybody about what you can and cannot do with a body cam.
Dr. Rogers says it's important to take into consideration that officers are people too, and just because something isn't shown on camera doesn't mean there's foul play. How, how many of us have jobs where every moment we're working, there is a camera running to record what we do? Officers have salty language, they have <clears throat> personal issues, uh, someone's calling one of the officers while while they're standing there talking. Currently, there is no state or federal policy for police body camera usage. Each department in Ohio has the authority to create its own policy concerning police body cameras. WKBN asked Chief Roddy if they have anything in their policy that prohibits officers from covering their cameras. Do you guys have anything in your policy about covering them up? You know what? I don't think that there's anything that that prohibits, um, obviously we don't want that to happen because they're here for a reason, but in an extenuating circumstance like that where it, it's cold, um, I, I'm sure he, I would hope that he just wasn't thinking and because you could always move the camera elsewhere. It's hard to write a policy around every situation, um, which is why police officers, we talk about police officers having discretion on things. So the policy becomes this general framework around which everything is built and, and you want to make the rules pretty clear about what they can and cannot do, but you also want to make sure that they have adequate guidance for when they can break out of that on their own description. As for the officer involved shooting on April 1st, the investigation is still ongoing. Reporting Jennifer Rodriguez, WKBN 27 First News.